Hello everyone, this is Frankie with Meekspace.org. Today I wanted to show you how to install the Watchtower Library on your Android device. Now, of course, the Watchtower Library, you need to know up front that the Watchtower Library CD that you get from your congregation, it will not install on your Android device or an Apple device or anything like that. What you have to have is you have to have a special converted version of the Watchtower Library CD. So there has been a special file created, a special version of the Watchtower Library um, that is converted into a .pdb file. And the only app that can view this file is called iSilo. And so you have to go to the Google Play Store and download iSilo the application. And then you have to get the file the special watch our library file in .pdb format. And so how you do that is you can contact somebody in your congregation or in your local uh, district or circuit that has the files already and you can ask them to, to get the files for you, to give them to you. If you can't do that, then you can visit meekspace.org, create an account, and of course in order to create an account, you're going to need to have your Watchtower Library CD, which the reason we require this is this proves you already own the Watchtower Library CD. That way, when, when we give you the files in a different format, we're not giving you anything you don't already have. So once you create an account, you can go to a special file request page, and you can request the Watchtower Library files. We do not share them from our website. You have to request them, and then someone will email you some expiring links where you can download the files. So those are the two things. Go to the App Store, and I'll show you by going to the Google Play Store what that application looks like. You'll type in the search at the top, iSilo. You notice the first entry there on the left says iSilo by DC and Company. So you'll download and, ins and install that application. Once you've done that, then um, there's a few other things you'll want to do. You, you've already requested the files through meekspace.org, or you've gotten the files from uh, somebody else. Once you've had the files, you'll want to put them or get them on your Android device. Now, if you're, if you're requesting the files, what will happen is you'll get an email with some links. So you'll want to download those links, download the files to your, your Android device. Now what I recommend doing is creating some folders. So you can use various different file managers. I recommend using ES File Explorer. You get that from the Google Play Store. So if you open up that application, you'll notice that uh, you can browse your device. And by browsing your device, um, you can uh, create folders and a place to store things. And so what I like to do is have you go to your SD card and on your SD card have you create a folder called Documents. Now you can do that uh, just by clicking the plus sign at the bottom that says New and it will let you make a new folder. You make a folder called Documents. Inside of Documents I have folders for different types of files, but you'll want to make one called iSilo. Inside of iSilo, you can make other folders, for instance, uh, for you know magazines or books or whatever. For for the sake of this test, I've just made one called WT Live. So watch our library, and I've copied the four files that you need inside that folder. So you'll need the nwt-rbi8-e.pdb, the rbi8.pdb, the wtpub-en-dx-2012.pdb, and uh, the full version file there, the wtpub-en-full-2012.pdb. Now, if you use different languages, uh, those files will be slightly named slightly differently but this is the English files. So you have to have all four of those. Now, again, if you've gone to Meekspace and you've requested the files, 
if you go to your email, you should receive an email that looks similar to this one here. You'll have four links. So what you'll do is you'll open that up. You'll click on each link. And you'll start downloading the file. As you notice, it's starting to download that file that I clicked on. Now, as it's downloading it, if you, if you bring down your menu bar, you can see that it's downloading the WTPub EN full file. Now, if you notice underneath that, I've already downloaded it once. The download is complete. That's how it'll look when it's complete. So I'm not going to go ahead and download that. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. So what will happen is you'll see, we'll go ahead and cancel that. So once it's downloaded, if you go back to the ES File Explorer application that I told you about, you'll see in your folder that I had you create that the file will, will be uh, at the beginning, it's going to be on the left under the download folder. So I clicked on the download folder on the left. You see there's the WT pub file that we downloaded. Now this isn't a complete file because we stopped the download. But once it gets complete, what you can do is you can long touch that file and at the bottom you can copy that file. And then on the left you can go under you see I've got a zero and an SD there. Those are my different uh, SD cards on my device. If I go to the, the main drive, the zero, you'll notice on the right I have my documents folder that we created. If you open your documents folder and then you open your iSilo folder that you created and then you open your WT Live file that you cre created and then you um, at the bottom, you'll have a paste button. So you'll click the paste, and it'll paste that file into that folder. So that's how you would organize. You'll need to do that for all four files. So you'll, you'll go to your email. You'll download the four files. You'll move them from your download folder into your documents, iSilo, WTLive file. So they'll all be there. Then, once you're done with that, you can open up the iSilo application and view those files. So if we opened up iSilo, and we went to our SD card, at the bottom I'm going back because I accidentally clicked on a folder. We go into our documents folder our iSilo folder, our WT Lib file folder. There's our four files. So if we open up the full file, we should see the Watchtower library on your device. Now you notice it doesn't look like your Watchtower library that you have on your computer. It looks different, but if you notice, it has everything that your Watchtower library has. At the top, you have your your very your links to the different publications. Uh, you notice VOL, for instance. If we click on VOL, there we have the Watchtower and the Wake magazines going back from 2012 to 50 for the Watchtower, 2012 and 70 for the Awake. So you can go back to publications there. For instance, if you wanted to go to the DX link there at the top. That is the index, so that's actually opening up the other file that you put on there that has the DX in it. That's the index. There's not a search function on this version of the Watchtower Library, so you have to use the index to search for what you're looking for. Just go back to Publications there in the top left, and you'll be back to the other items that are available. But you notice you've got the BK, for instance. If you click on BK, that's your books. So all these links that come up here are all the different books. For instance, if you click on Draw Close, there's the Draw Close book and all of the chapters. 
the top you can go back to publications and I'm going to break down the uh, uh, iSilo version of the library later so I'm not going to go into a great big detail of this I just wanted to show you how to take email links that are sent to you download the files and get the Watchtower library on your Android device and see it work from here you can uh, spend a lot of time experimenting with iSilo's version of the library now if you look for instance what if we wanted to go to a scripture that's what these uh, abbreviations here at the top are what if we wanted to go to Psalms 8318 we would go to the PS we would go to 83 we go to 18 that people may know that you whose name is Jehovah you alone are the most high over all the earth so there you can go ahead and click back at the very bottom you can on on different devices you'll have a back function and in my case I'm just clicking you can't see me clicking it but I hit the back button and then once you've got a publications link you can always hit that publications link or you can hit your back button as well and that'll take you back to the the main page of the library so anyway that's just a brief uh, how to um, tutorial showing you how to get the Watchtower library on your Android device now in the future I will show you some other ways of doing this so look for some other tutorial videos in the future thanks for watching meekspace.org